All right, hand over, straight over. Ah, what a beautiful day. Oh, we, we actually timed this up really well because the uh, the actual ferry crossing kind of cuts out the night, so we should make it in the daytime. See this amazing scenery that we got. Yeah, I think this is definitely going to have to go over two or three episodes because uh, we're only in Germany. Let's have a look. let's check the map. So we started there. Uh, we're probably not even halfway. I think halfway would be past Hanover. So quite nice to see on a motorway though. It's hard work going on the uh, on the A roads, as it were. But you get to see better scenery on the A roads than you ever do on a motorway. So uh, half a one. Was it six of one and half a dozen the other? Which is the same thing. Ah, that car tried to overtake. Get back. I watched, um... I watched a film yesterday called uh, Surrogates with uh, Bruce Willis. Don't know if anybody else has seen it. Um, it's a bit weird. They had these, um... Uh, robots that live your life for you and it kind of freaked me out a little bit because maybe not in my lifetime but you could probably see the human race maybe going down that route one day so you had like these men sort of sitting in their uh, in their bedroom with their surrogates their robots you know who are women and you had like police officers, you know, there's like no crime rate because people just live their life through these robots and stuff and yeah, it freaked me out a little bit. I would hate that. I think um having no human interaction is uh is a sad thing. I think everybody deserves to have some interaction with humans. And did I mention I'm sending my dog? <laughs> I'm not. But if somebody offers, uh, you know, a, a significant amount of money in the comments, then uh, I may ship my dog off. No, I wouldn't. No, dog's not for sale at any cost. Just in case a wife's listening. <laughs> I couldn't sell my dog. To be honest, I'll sell her, and then somebody would just end up giving her back. Yeah, you're right. The dog's nuts. I'll pay you to take the dog back. <laughs> Well, there may be a business scheme thing going on there, you know, sell the dog and charge him money for taking it back. Oh, she ain't that bad. Well, she is that bad. But you just keep telling yourself she ain't that bad and hopefully one day she'll change. Mad Maddie, that's what we call her. So we've got uh, Christmas coming up soon. Um, do you know, you're starting to see the Christmas decorations in the stores already. How mad is that? Ah, uh, October. And we've got Christmas decorations. Like the wife even mentioned about starting Christmas shopping. And I, I said, I, I refuse, refuse to start Christmas shopping in October. Now, I know some people, they, they, they do it in January. You know, for the sales for for the next year, I kind of get that. You know, for clothes and <clears throat> and other items and stuff, I I I understand that. But shopping in October for Christmas, it's just wrong. When I was younger, like the wife does most of my shopping now, I don't, I don't get that involved. I'd just get dragged along to carry the bags. But when I was younger I used to do all the shopping on Christmas Eve. Yep. I am one of them. I, I, I don't plan. I don't uh and to be honest, the the president the presents that I gave people, they were okay. They could have been better, you know, I had to give them what was left in the shop. 
but um but yeah ours fart I am one of those guys I um I shop at the last minute I know shock horror <laughs> but yeah I'm I, I, I'm not a very good shopper actually in fact online now it's a lot easier you know you can just you could probably just order stuff online as and when it's not gonna directly in ask fart you know affect your life at all so oh what have I done so I think um, from that point of view you can you know maybe November at the, at the, at the earliest mid-November you can start ordering stuff online. There's no need to leave the house, is there? That's that's a bit sad. I don't like shopping though. I don't even like food shopping. I, I'm not that keen on any type of shopping. Oh, excuse me. That's the dog's fault. The dog is making me yawn. Arse fart for not making me sleep at night. I'm surprised actually the guy driving the truck isn't yawning. Well, maybe he's starting yawning fairly soon. It's uh, quarter past twelve in the afternoon. I don't know what time our expected time of getting there was. I look, I checked as well. There was no like um you know on time delivery or you know a rush job. So we can just take our time with it. Get there in one piece, and we'll be uh, ninety grand in the richer. So we're on motorway two or seven, motorway blue two, I two. <gasps> Whoa! I thought I was gonna crash. Okay. Come on, then stop go. Magdeburg, Berlin, and Zurpig. Asphalt. God, I'm all over the shop. Uh, somebody mentioned about um, finding a radio station with uh, sort of commercial free music or something to put on. So that might be an idea for next time. Uh, I might have a look around just to see if we can put some music in the background. What do you guys think of that? Or are you guys just happy me um, kind of muttering on and talking nonsense as we drive all over Europe? I'm in the uh, fast lane here. I should get over. Sunflowers. Oh. We're doing okay for fuel. We've got half a tank. So let's just keep going until we have to stop. It's kind of, I suppose, what you do in real life, really, isn't it? You just go as far as you possibly can until you have to you have to stop. I think it's every four and a half hours you need a 15-minute a break or half-hour break. Something like that. You're dictated by law, anyway, how many times you need to break. Sorry, I'm cutting into two lanes. Oops. This is nice driving though, you've got three lanes on a motorway in Germany, beautiful scenery, great company, as in you peeps watching. What more do you want, eh? Apart from the dog that sleeps through the night. But I'm not going to mention the dog again. <laughs> oh, I wish we were on now. So yeah, we've got this, um, the storm come in. 60 to 80 mile an hour winds. And I'm looking outside and it's beautiful. Shorts and t-shirt weather. Right, we're not arse farting here. Well, not quite shorts and t-shirts. You know, still it's probably about 14 degrees outside. But it doesn't look like it's... You know, you wouldn't like... Um, get up in the morning. Open the curtains and go... Do you know what? I think we're going to have 60 to 80 mile an hour winds today. It just doesn't look that day, so... They might have got it wrong, but it's very rarely. Normally when they hand out these warnings, these weather warnings, they're not a hundred percent right, but you you know, there normally is something to worry about and 
so we're kind of sort of bracing ourselves. Hence the reason why I got up early at quarter past seven. Well, no, the reason why I got up at quarter past seven was because the the dog woke me up at half past six. I went downstairs, <clears throat> and there, there she was, all cuddled up on her on her sofa. Arse fart, looking really cute. You know, just woke up. Just wanted to punch it in the head. No, I didn't. I'm only really joking. <clears throat> um. Yeah, so I, I let her out for a piddle. I watched uh, Marvels this morning as I was waking up. You know the uh, the series. That's pretty cool. Um, I'm enjoying that. The only trouble is you got adverts every like two minutes. It seems like you just get into like just get into watching it and adverts. Luckily, I, I record it all on the uh, TiVo box, so I don't need to uh, worry about the adverts too much. But <clears throat> it seems you know like high profile um, programs like that. They pack in the adverts, don't they? Um, what else have I been watching? Oh, uh, a series called Warehouse 13. I just started watching that. It's a bit weird. It hasn't quite grabbed me as much as... Um, there's another series called Lost Girl. I managed to watch three seasons of that. That, that was pretty funky. It's about a succubus. Who, uh, who's good. And uh, they have these um, these people with special powers called the Fae. And you have the Light Fae and the Dark Fae. And the succubus has decided to uh, become unaligned and and won't choose a side. But secretly, I think she's a Light Fae. Um, yeah, so I've watched that. That's that's pretty cool. I think season four's just started uh, over in America. So it'll be a while before uh, it lands on our doorstep. Yeah, that was fun. Uh, me and the wife uh, have our programs called Doc Martin. It's, it's a, a British um, program with uh, Martin Clunes. I think I might have mentioned that before, but we've been watching that. That's been that's been good. Oh, it's the end of the series actually. I think last week, and we both like looked at each other and went, "Really? That's the end of the series?" Like it wasn't like a a cliffhanger, you know, EastEnders. Doo, 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 doo. It wasn't no. Um, Oh my god, I can't wait for season uh, 4 or 5 or whatever you know, the next season is. It was just like, okay, uh, I'm off now. You know, go back to work. And he walks out. Don't worry, I haven't spoiled anything if you haven't watched it. But yeah. Halfway through, the wife said, oh my god, I can't believe she dies in this episode. I'm like, what? She dies? Yeah, she's trolling me. She's laughing and giggling. Yeah, that's what she's like. Total Garage. My friend used to work for Total Butler. Okay, so where are we going? We're going Berlin, Rostock, and Dresden. We're not asphalting here. We're going to be uh, going straight on and asphalting. I say the power of this uh, this truck is awesome. We're not struggling too much. All this Guinness. I don't know how many tons tons of Guinness we've got. Whoa! Don't stop. Don't stop believing. Um. Yeah, but this thing seems to be pulling it awesomely. Ross, Stock, and Hamburg. I think we're going. To sh no, we're not. We're coming off. Oh, great. We're coming off towards Berlin, Dresden, and Posen. It's half past two. Hopefully, we can get there before it gets really dark. So let's asphalt here. Yeah, I am looking for a new graphics card. Uh, I think the GTX 780 is probably going to be my next purchase. But um, I think we'll see. Thing is that they, they change so quickly, don't they? These graphics cards. They, you, what you think you might buy the latest graphics card, and it turns out to, uh, you know, to be superseded literally as, just as you bought it. There's something else on the market. So I don't know what you peeps recommend. I don't want an SLI or Crossfire or anything like that. I just want one graphics card. Um, that would just 
not that you know the graphics card I got at the moment it's not struggling but um, there's a few games coming out in the future like the Elder Scrolls Online you know there's X3 Rebirth coming out fairly soon which I'm looking forward to and I just want to be able to run it on Max you know I'm not the sort of person that plays games on on um, you know minimum graphic settings I have to have everything on maximum I have the full um, feeling of the of the asphalt of the game so and I, I, I feel I'm, I'm coming to the end of the life of this uh, graphics card so that will be going into my old computer and um, yeah I'm setting that one up as a backup or, or something or a server or, or do something with it asphalt oh that car asphalted right next to me gonna hog both lanes here going in this corner put the power on go so there's a competition um, by SCS to uh, their pay for something to do their driving uh, HGV driving lessons and, and all that I haven't heard anything back from it I was hoping I'd win that a change of uh, career I think it'd be pretty cool to put a, a GoPro camera or something can commentate as I go, you know, and we put it in a in a fast uh, time lapse type thing. Quite cool. Right, we're asphalting to Poznan, which is in Poland, I believe. Was uh, asphalt? I think so. Although, would it asphalt if it was in Poland? No, still in Germany. Must be coming up near the Polish border. <sighs> ah, there we go. We're, we're tired. Did I tell you guys that we bought a washing machine and uh, a brand new table the other day? This washing machine is. Uh, it's all singing and dancing. I couldn't believe it. There's a washing machine that um, you can text to turn it on. You can text your washing machine, and your washing machine texts you back to say it's finished. Does anybody else find that weird? We had that with my old washing machine, you know, I just text the wife and say, can you put some washing on, and she does it. Oh, I'm really joking. But, um, yeah, I just find it weird that you can, you, know, you, you can think of the, in the future, you, you can be able to do everything with a mobile phone or a tablet, aren't you, you know? I'll do the dishes. Yeah, okay. Well, we just uh, oh, there we go. I'll just text the dishwasher to collect all the plates and cups in the house and and wash them. You can kind of do it now with a uh, vacuum cleaner. You know, you've seen those rem rem not remote control vacuum cleaners, but they they um they actually drive themselves, don't they? And they. <sighs> oh, sorry, just concentrating. I don't want to hit this lorry. Oh God, round the corner. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. We're okay, we're okay, we're okay. I could have done with diving in there for a break, but I'm going to wait until the next one. Probably shouldn't have done that, but... I was trying to overtake a lorry at the time. And now a mini. But yeah, you got those um, those vacuums that... Uh, yeah, that map out, map out your room and um, kind of hoover for you. I don't know. I suppose it's the height of laziness, really, but I can see why people do it. Uh, right, journey to Poland. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, that was close. Could we park up here? Oh, no, no, you got the. Uh... Ah, so took. Did you really need to break like that? Honestly. Oh, you can park. I think I'm going to park and go to sleep. Let's see if we can go right over this way. I 
Can I sneak through without paying? No, there's a bar there. Oh, I thought, <laughs> I thought there was no bar. Enter. Thank you for my ticket. Alright, let's park up on this side over here. And rest. <sighs> ooh, ooh. Oh, oh. We might have just clipped it, but I think we got away with it. Yeah, we're just going to park here. Whoa! Wrong button. You are getting tired, you should find... Oh. I'm trying to park. Come on. Give me... Give me the E. Not... That's only wrong. Yeah. Okay, E. Enter. Getting some rest. Oh, I can hear rain. Of course, it's raining and it's dark. Joshua's early. He's earning 8,000. Wow, parking lot. We got 41 grand. How have we got so much money? Um. Wow. We only got paid for our 90 grand job yet. It's a shame it's uh, raining. It's going to make the road a bit slippy. Well, at least we're in Poland. We're on the last leg of our journey. This is probably the biggest, uh, the longest journey that we've had, ever had to do. Birmingham to... Is it Warsaw or something like that? When it's dark and it's raining like this, and because I'm not using the four beam, which <clears throat> you know, I think I probably get a comment every episode. Use your four beam. Um, it does make it harder. You've got to really um, concentrate because you can't see that far ahead of you. I don't want to use my full beam. You know, this is how the game is supposed to be played. Um, you'd be blinding everybody if I use my full beam. Alright, we're going straight over to Poznan. I think we've been to Poznan before. Let's get on over. I love how the mirror. Look at the the water come off the mirrors. I don't think I've noticed that before when it's raining. It's pretty funky. No, you can wait. Thank you. There we go. So hopefully we'll have enough fuel to get there. Um, you got quarter of a tank left of fuel. You should be okay. You see how many miles we've done in our, our new truck as well? We've done 3,067 miles. It's pretty good, isn't it? So we're breaking this truck in slowly. <clears throat> I do want to upgrade to some of the newer FH-16s as well. Like that 750 horsepower Volvo. That looked... Uh, pretty mean but um, we won't be doing that just yet I, I want to set up another depot and get a few more workers and cut more trucks on the books that's what I'm after so we're, we're 40 grand in the good which is great and then uh, when we complete this job we'll have a, another 90 grand so uh, we'll have a look at what we can do with the money Oh, 
was intense driving at night in the rain. Two o'clock in the morning. Hopefully we get there when the sun just comes up. That's not bad going actually, driving on the other side of Europe in uh, in a day and a bit. What, two days worth of driving I suppose. Right, that's just taking a mick, isn't it? Two lanes, and they're both going the same speed. Oh. Oh, it's one of these. £43. Pounds. There you go. For a 90 grand job, you don't mind paying 43 pounds in tolls, do you? Whoa, yeah, you had to stop there. You had no no, no right away whatsoever, car. So I don't feel guilty for you at all. Well, that transit's going for some, isn't it? He's not holding back. He looks like he's uh, off to Poznan. I thought we were going to Roll Claw, aren't we? Maybe we're going a different way. I'm good at this dark, peeps, because uh, obviously we want to show off as much Polish uh, scenery as possible. Yeah, we're going straight on here. No arse farting for us today. Yeah, we took that vehicle quite quite well there. I can see the circle thing on the. Uh, on the sat nav, but that don't really mean anything. Oh, talking of um, sat navs and stuff. When I go to America in April, I know I keep banging on about it, but I'm really excited about it. And uh, I wonder if you can. Oh, you can use sat navs over there. I'm sure you can. You must be able to. I just hope the car. I'm going to get a higher car. I hope uh, it comes with a sat nav. So I'll be pretty screwed if not. You see me try and drive on the wrong side of the road anyway. So I'm a bit anxious and a bit worried about that. Yep, yeah, you wait. And um, yeah, I was looking at some of the cars that you can hire over there. They had a two seater Ford GT or something for an extra, I think it was about £200. I don't know whether to treat myself or not. It's probably going to be the only chance I can uh, I'll get to drive on for a week. So uh, we'll see. I don't know what the weather's like in Boston, to be honest. I, 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 don't, I don't know what it's like in around April sort of time. So whether getting a convertible, uh, even if it's snowing and I'm in a, a Ford GT convertible, I'll probably still have the 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 um, the cover down. You know, people will be able to spot me off for a moment. Oh, yeah, there's a tourist. <laughs> I'm that with my beanie hat, scarf, gloves. Freezing, driving down the road in the snow. Yeah, so oh, it's fairly flashy. But thinking about it, I won't be able to pick up Fad, Das, or Dur. You know, we stuck with two seats, so it's not really practical. If I was going to be picking them up. See, so, yeah, I've got a lot of reading up to do. You know, I only found out the other day that you need a visa, a traveling visa, or a, a holiday visa, or something. I literally thought you just uh, book the plane ticket and off you go. But no, 
It's not that easy. So I don't know when to apply for the visa. Ooh, FedEx. Get over. Oh, we must be close to our destination. Three o'clock in the morning. Nice if they flashed, you know, to say that you've passed them so you can uh, come back into the uh, slow lane, but they don't. Well, we can't be that far away. But check us out, going from one side of uh, Europe to the other side of Europe. Okay. Can you hear the uh, the sound of the rain and? the windscreen wipers, the indicators and all that. I turned up the sound effects a little bit because uh, it does seem a bit quiet. You are running out of fuel, you should find a petrol station. Wow, I haven't seen that sign before. I'm not running out of fuel. I've got... Well, I guess I am running out of fuel. Oh gosh, don't run out of fuel. I thought we had plenty of fuel to get there. I see the fuel lights on. See the red light underneath the empty? That's just come on. They've got two fu fuel lights, haven't they? I've got two tanks, is that why I've got two fuel... two fuel, um... Uh, indicators. Do you see the one with... you see the speedo next to it? I think that's the fuel... gauge. And then below it, there's the fuel gauge. Am I right in saying that? And then you've got the oil pressure, you've got the turbo, and you've got the water temperature as well. be no service stations at all now is there it's not me it's not me falling asleep at the wheel or uh, crashing oh I didn't know did I thanks for moving over oh thanks for moving over again Sixty-three bucks. Right. I like this bit when you pull out. It's like go as fast as you can. Um. Yeah, that's it. Was that was Kawa? then speed up there you go oh yeah now the guy on the inside lane is speeding up typical I wonder what happens if you run out of diesel can I call something like an AA or something to uh, to fill me up or something 
I would hate to fail this mission there, though, because I've run out of, uh, out of fuel. That would drive me mad. Half past four in the morning. Bitch black. Well, foggy, rainy. Come on. On the A2 in Poland. We're doing all right. Apart from running out of fuel. You can do it. Oh, good. You turn, turn that way. I don't know if it's true or not, but uh, a friend told me he works on cars. He said the optimum um, speed to go to save fuel is 66 miles an hour. Obviously not in first gear, but you know, in, in fifth or sixth. Yeah, apparently that's the most efficient for the engine. Never knew that. Slow down a bit. We're getting pretty good at these um, toll booths now, aren't we? Let's take another ticket. Let's go. You can wait there, Van. Wait. Thank you. Wow, our fuel gauge is looking there. Uh, oh, fuel, 3,000 meters, brilliant. This is where you got. You look at the distance to go when it's got like 2,500 meters, and you're like, no! I think we're going to make it to the fuel station, definitely. Wow, all those cars on that trailer had their lights on then. Did you see that? On the other side of the road. If you didn't, pause the video, go back and have a look. I suppose that's one way of... Uh, lighting up the area. Or just install loads of beacons. But you can't your on the last one. Of course it is. Okay, I'm actually this is gonna cost Oh diesel prices only ninety eight P a litre. That's that's fantastic. I don't mind paying ninety eight P a litre. Wow. Wow, it's going to cost 710. Wow. Yeah, can you see the, uh, the actual um, fuel gauge now? Both fuel gauges are uh, showing full. Maybe I've got two tanks on here. And uh, it empties the one tank out first, and then empties I'll keep an eye on that. We're on the road again. All these buttons, I don't know what they all do. Oop. They've toned down the noise a little bit on the um, rumble strips. Kind of sounds realistic now. The only thing is, I wish my joypad would uh, vibrate. As you go over the rumble strips, that would be a nice little touch. I bet it does. It probably does on the G27. That thing's uh, all singing and dancing. And I may, I may pick that up. May pick it up soon, and do a do a webcam or something of uh, me trying to use a uh, steering wheel and gears. Come on. Oh, 
across one of these. Right, we can see the flag. So we're not a million miles away now. I think this is the last toll station that we got. Oh, a fiver. <laughs> Does it seem already worth it? Wait there, car. Thank you. Oh, sorry, car. Whoops. I didn't indicate. My bad. Wow, we definitely haven't been here before. Oh, she was a little bit lighter. So Wazawa. I think W is V, isn't it? Vars. Vazava. Varsava. No. no. There seems to be a dock here or something, isn't there? Do I see a dock sign? I could be wrong. This is definitely the, the most eastern we've ever been. Oh, there's a garage we could buy there. I'll drop off the load and then we'll go have a look at that, maybe next episode. Because we've been going a little while on this episode. Come on. So where would the docks be then? Yeah, there's no, uh, there's no sea or anything around, uh, Vazava. It'll be somewhere else, maybe. I might have been wrong. Come on, lights. Thank you all. Oh, where's my red flag's gone? You know, my red flag's just... Oh, hang on. No. I thought I had red flags. What am I on about? What am I on about? I think I was looking at uh, my other game save, and there's these red flags because they, because uh, the load was quite wide. You had these red flags overhanging, so I automatically presumed. Well, I'm not going to reverse it. Okay. Enter. Job. Com what? Tolerable. Seventeen percent damage. 17%? How do I damage it? 17%? Anyway, job completed. We've driven 920 miles. Wow. We consumed a whole tank of gas. Uh, base reward, yeah, 60 grand plus 16,000 for proficiency. Uh, long distance delivery at 14 grand. And we've leveled up to uh, level 19. Professional. Uh, we've got 89 grand in the bank. That's, that's not bad. But we could, excuse me, we, we should have got job completed. Excellent. Right. Here we go. We got uh, unassigned skill point one. Long distance. Mm. High value. A 20% high reward. 5% increase for a high value delivery. Eco driving. 10% fuel save when driving with a trailer. That could be huge. Um, fifty percent high reward. Nine percent high reward. I think if finishing important delivery, fifty percent high reward for finishing an urgent delivery. I'm gonna go with high value cargo. Supply that. Done. Okay. All right. Let's have a look at which one. Hundred and thirty-six grand. Awesome. So uh, we'll have a play with that. Uh, in the next episode so thank you very much for watching this is euro truck simulated 2 uh go east dlc my name is stocker gloss take care and as usual ciao for now
Acres and you got forty three. 